Okay, so what this does is this is if uh, HTML equals one, we're gonna fade the error out if there's any errors. Uh, we're gonna set the border back on the user input field and the password input field back to uh, whatever color you want. Originally 60, 60, 60. Um, and then under that, we're gonna animate the form out. And then we're gonna slide down uh, the, a welcome text for the user after they sign in. Okay, the window location is common and out. You can use that to, after the user signs in, that's the location of where the page will redirect to. But I'm not gonna be using that right now. You can put that to whatever uh, file you want. Okay, so far we got the uh, main div uh, to hold all of our, that's going to be the main login uh, form. And then we got the done, that's where we're going to display the uh, text that's going to slide down when the user signs in. And then uh, under that's going to be the title. And then uh, the next div is the error div, we're going to display the uh, errors we have. And then the user and password. Okay, make sure you add this uh, dot right before the Ajax. I forgot to add it. If you don't add that, then you're gonna get an error. Okay, uh, I'm not gonna write this out. I'm just gonna show it to you for video length. It might take too long. But uh, 
that's uh, going to get the user and uh, uh, password and then we're going to md5 hash the password and then we're going to check to see if the user exists in the database and uh, you don't need that if uh, check doesn't equal zero we're going to get the results from the database user information and then we're going to put a while loop and we're going to get the user the row user the id and then we're going to uh, register the session id and uh, session uh, user session Okay, this is the uh, CSS file, and I'm uh, not going to type that out, I'm just going to show you it, it doesn't take too long. <laughs> 